Well, I feel like I need to take about six melatonin capsules after watching that because it feels like you just shook up a can of Red Bull and shoved it into your bloodstream. Oh, hi, everybody. So... Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm a little excited, and the reason is because we are talking about Mission Impossible Fallout today. And this film, I gotta say, this film surprised me. One thing you need to know about me, although I do really, really enjoy the Mission Impossible films, and I think some of them are excellent, the action genre when it comes to film is probably my least favorite of all of them, but Mission Impossible Fallout, this film is brilliant for a lot of reasons, but let me give you a bit of a premise and explain what the film's about. So basically, Tom Cruise, Ethan Hunt, and his crew are back again to stop people trying to take over the world or destroy it with nuclear weapons of some kind. And that's all I'm gonna give you for the moment because this film blew me away on several aspects and I want you to experience those without any spoilers in your head or any preconceived notions. But what did I like about the film? Okay, first of all, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise and Henry Cavill in this film. You know, the rivalry that these two have in the film is pretty spectacular from beginning to end. And for me, they're one of the reasons why this film is so good. And if more than anything, Henry Cavill proved to me that he's an actor who needs to get more work. I mean, this guy gave one heck of a performance in here. In fact, I, in my personal opinion, I think his performance overshadowed Tom Cruise. I thought it was better than Tom Cruise's, even though I love Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt. And the fact that Tom Cruise in his 50s now is still doing these crazy, crazy stunts, even and after he's had several broken body parts or you know one broken part or part his ankle the fact that he's still getting up and doing this stuff is incredible and along with the performances the amount of heart and character growth that this film had actually surprised me for because for the past couple of mission impossible films it feels like they haven't had as much character growth for ethan hunt and his team than i would have liked but mission impossible fallout provides plenty of character growth for ethan hunt it, to a degree to where I was actually surprised and there were certain points particularly towards the end of the film where I started tearing up it was very beautiful it was very heartfelt and it was just overall just extremely well done plus the fact let's just say that this Mission Impossible film has possibly my favorite intro to any of the Mission Impossible films ever it's so so well handled all right you know I could talk about character growth and talent and and development and heart and all that but this is a mission impossible film you guys probably want to hear about the action well the action i have to tie right into christopher mcquarrie's direction because this film unlike christopher mcquarrie's last debut when it comes to mission impossible mission impossible rogue nation this feels like a completely different film from top to bottom from an action standpoint, this has got to be one of the best action films I have ever seen. And I know a lot of people are saying that, but honestly, it's true. My favorite action film to come out within the past decade before this film was Mad Max Fury Road. But I got to be honest, Mission Impossible Fallout for me personally takes the cake. The action is unbelievably intense and nail-biting and insane. I mean, it doesn't even matter where it starts out. You could get an action sequence that starts on foot, then it'll go to a motorcycle chase, then a helicopter chase, then another foot chase, then another motorcycle chase, then a car chase. I mean, this movie just doesn't give you the chance to breathe, and it's a complete and utter adrenaline rush. I had a big smile on my face, but I have to give all the credit to Christopher McQuarrie because although Mission Impossible Rogue Nation was great, he definitely showed us that he was holding a lot of the talent he had back because his direction and how he was able to balance this intense, intense action with character development and the humor, which is also found in the film, proves just how masterful of a director he is. I can't see what this guy does next. Honestly, the direction in Mission Impossible Fallout might be some of the best direction I have seen in the entirety of this year. It's flawless. Now, as far as cons with the movie, it, it was hard for me to find any when it comes to Mission Impossible Fallout. However, there was a certain point in the film 
about three quarters of the way through it where there was a point where the film seemed to lull and it seemed to stall and stay in place. However, along with it slowing down, it also slowed down with purpose. It's it, it's not like it's not like it slowed down for the sake of slowing down and there was nothing to it. It's kind of like Logan, how in the second act of the film, there was this section where Logan and Professor Charles Xavier hung out with those farmers and tried to see what a normal life was like. It was that kind of thing in Mission Impossible Fallout. It stalled with purpose, so honestly, I don't know if I can count it as a con. But honestly, guys, Mission Impossible Fallout is one of the best films I've seen. As far as an action spectacle, as far as what this entire team was able to give us, I loved Mission Impossible Fallout from top to bottom. It's top three material for sure. And guys, with all the praises that I have for this movie, you know I gotta say, Mission Impossible Fallout is suit worthy. And as always, guys, it is what you say that matters. But before we go, just as a reminder, if you look up above here, you'll see all my social media links. And if you want more content from me, go right over here to the side. I I'm pretty sure it's this side, if I'm correct. Go over here to the side, and on the top, you'll find all the rest of my movie reviews for, for the rest of this year, for 2018, what I've done so far. And on the bottom, you'll find a link, because if you guys like my opinions on film, if you like what I have to say, then I highly suggest you check out the Sweet Film Podcast that me and my buddy, Zach Pope, did, because that's a lot of fun. We not only talk about surface layer stuff, but we also deep... We do a deep dive into what films mean and all that other good stuff. So if you like that, please go check it out. But guys, have you seen Mission Impossible Fallout? And what did you think of it? More importantly, which out of all the Mission Impossible films, which ones are your favorites? Whatever your thoughts may be, leave them down in the comment section below so we can get a conversation started. And if you enjoyed what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.